that's been the, the, the norm lately that when I come back to use my shit, it's not there. Okay, you see, perfect example, right over here, can't turn this, it's at an angle. And I tried to once and I'd almost tripped. So now, we're going to have to improvise. Um, let's see, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Um, I was gonna pick up a set of the uh, Allen Hexes, the long ones, but did not. So, how do we get to that now? Um, That one, if you know how a 4.0 or regular Torx T25, it's gonna go ahead and work out with that. So, don't go crazy running out buying stuff. So, now I know that that bottom one is a pain in the ass to take out. If you guys know a better way to do this, just let me put it go ahead and post it in the comments. You know, like that, I know for future reference. Um, to not go on a mission. Okay, so I completely forgot that I gotta loosen up the bottom. So let me see if I could just get away without doing that. So remember I had the whole issue with the spark plug here. That this is coming apart. I went ahead and ordered an MSD one. So, I won't be for too long. Ah, shit. Yeah, no matter what, I still have to go ahead and take off the front cover. You have to go to coil. So, uh, let me see how this would work. Yes, you could get away without removing the cover. But you're going to spend a good 15, 20 minutes just trying to fish the wire out. And then fish the wire back in. It's going to be another mission. So, I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead. I'll do it. And... Get it with. It'll be the process will be quicker. Again, I've never installed this, so this is my first time. I guess this is just gonna bypass the switch. You know, actually, you know what? You don't. You don't. So go ahead and this is gonna basically plug right into the plug. Just come out the side. Yeah. And as you see here, we got the rope. Oh, there goes the little top part. We got the as I say, positive, negative, red and black. So move those two. Hopefully they wanna come out. Uh, I don't wanna have to cut this shit out. So. Okay, no. <sighs> you know what, let's do this the right way. So let's go ahead and flip the truck on the side and get the side cover off. It's not going to go ahead and rig stuff now for nothing. Regardless, these bolts, I had to put some Loctite on them. Well, it seems like they had some, but. Okay, let's do this. Oy. Which 
Well, this one, this is a three millimeter. Again, I don't know where none of the stuff you put it at. There we go. Another power screwdriver. It's cheap, but it works. That's a trick. Screw with the, I guess the engine mount spacer, whatever you want to call it. I'll look at the proper name when I go post this video. Make sure you don't lose this, because you're gonna need to put on the new one, so. Battery's off. Okay, so, basically unplug negative on the outside, positive on the inside. I usually take pictures of stuff like that when it's my first time, but pretty simple when you're facing it. Positive on the inside, negative on the outside. So, again. Everything's nice and snug. I didn't want to go ahead and remove the coil. Uh, do the least amount of unnecessary work as possible, but if it's a mission for me to put it back in, yeah, I'm gonna have to take off the coil. They want to, but it has to come out. So that looks like it's a three. Where's my three at? Kind of have an idea where everything goes when you put it back. You're not acting like where's Waldo and shit, trying to figure out what, what goes where. Okay. Top one has a spacer, bottom one didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and put that spacer back on this one. Um, don't know why the bottom one didn't. I didn't feel anything fall out, so. Let's see, make sure nothing fell out. Oh, you know what? 